Hello, welcome back to my marriage tutorial in Scratch. In this episode, we are going to add in coins. Um, the collisions aren't going to be aren't complete yet. Um, well, there aren't any collisions at the moment. Um, but um, yeah, we are just going to add them in this episode, just like that. Um, and so yeah, that is that is about it. Um, right, so you want to open your sprite sheet and just zoom in to here and the coins will be here um, now if you have been watching my previous parts which I strongly recommend you do so if you haven't already because well basically it's a series so yeah um, um, but so you should probably know how to do this by now like selecting the sprites if you don't you've basically just got to select each one like this and copy them and then do file create from clipboard for each one and um, and that will yeah and, and then you just save them um, as different different images and um, yeah then, then you'll be done right so um, I, I I've already done that so I'm just gonna go into the uh, project now but yeah you'll want to get all the images and stuff okay so then um, Okay, here's our project and um, you just want to open up choose a new sprite from file and then I'll just find my folder okay so once you're in your folder you just want to import the first picture and then you can just name this sprite coin1 and then you want to go in costumes and import some more just import all the others coin3 coin4 and coin5 and then what you're gonna, I hate it when it does that. Um, what you're gonna want to do then is just like copy this one, and then copy this one, then copy this one, and basically what that'll do for the animation. So it like it turns over to the back, and then it turns over again to the front again. And when it gets to there, it will just go back up to the top. So um, you just want to go in your scripts and put in a when the green flag is clicked and then just do a forever go into the costumes and just switch to costume coin one and then in here you just want to do next costume and I would just put in a wait time of about 0 0.1 seconds like that so that just switched to the first costume then it just repeatedly changes the costume every 0 0.1 seconds so you can see it's up here and yeah looking nice now we'll just position it because at the moment it doesn't scroll with um, with Mario um, so yeah you just wanna I'd go into this item 2 thing and just copy this here um, just that script and put it into your coin 1 just like that and the Y it's really up to you but I, I tend to do it about nine, minus 90 and then here I don't know it's entirely up to you it, and by the way I'm not really making a full Mario game here I'm just putting in the stuff for you um, and then you can put it all into a natural map and stuff but um, yeah so this this can be whatever you want really um, and yeah so that is really about it for this tutorial but I will just show you how to put in more more coins because um, we, we this is a pretty short tutorial at the moment um, so yeah the, these values are entirely up to you but they have to be the same remember um, this basically just put sets the Y and then this sets like the previous X um, I think I've explained this in my older tutorials but this is like um, the difference between the last frame that well the last um, loop of this and it finds the difference between the scroll x variable and the previous x variable which was the last x position and then it just it changes x by that amount really um, and then it sets previous x for the next loop you should hopefully understand that um, it's not too complicated but um, yeah anyway so let's just uh, duplicate these coins um, and you might want to just like put them, put the coin here, um, just just to make it um, a bit more readable. And you can make this one coin two. And I would between each coin, I would put about 
uh, 40, 40, whatever they are, 40 pixels, I guess it is. Um, cause that, that sort of spaces it out quite evenly. Um, so yeah, and then just put this one here and duplicate it again and name that one coin three. And you can make this 180. Um, but it's entirely up to you where you put the coins. I mean, I'm just sort of showing you what to do basically. So yeah, that is about it for this tutorial. I know it's quite a short one, but I tend I think it's better to keep them short and sweet or something like that. <laughs> um and my computer is getting very slow. It is only a laptop, so uh yeah. <laughs> it's not it's not exactly a really powerful computer, but anyway, um so yeah, those are just three three coins and in the next tutorial we will uh, add in the collisions with Mario and we'll probably put in the score of the coins and like maybe lives and stuff or maybe that'll be two tutorials on but anyway um yeah thank you for watching I hope you learned something um just put that there just save this and um yeah I'll see you in the next tutorial goodbye